Hello, Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and welcome to creating a numbering scheme in Autodesk Vault. In this video, we're going to show how we can create an automatic file naming scheme inside of Autodesk Vault Workgroup, Collaboration, or Autodesk Vault Professional. First, let's go ahead and open up Autodesk Vault Explorer. Now, I have to be logged in as an administrator to do this, but once I am, go to Tools, Administration, and Vault Settings. On the Behaviors tab, in the numbering area, I'll click on Define, and this is where I'm going to define that file naming scheme. I could apply this to item or files, but in this case, we're just going to choose files. I'll click New to start a new naming scheme, and I'll give it a name. In this case, I'm going to call it Kativ Custom Numbering Scheme. Now we'll go ahead and define that. I'll click New, and we have one of several options, auto-generated, delimiters, fixed text, free text, a predefined list, and so on. First, let's go ahead and we'll choose Fixed Text. This is going to be a text field that I can't change. It will always be the same. And I'm going to call this Kativ Mandatory Prefix and give it that fixed text. Every file is going to be fixed with KTV. Now I'll click New again, and I'm going to add a delimiter, and in this case, that's just going to be a dash. Hit OK. Our next item, we're going to go ahead and choose Free Text. And this is going to be a number that we can type in any number called Project Number. We'll give it a default value of four X's and four digits long as its max length. Clicking new again, we'll go ahead and add another delimiter, and this is also a dash, so we're going to break those up. After that delimiter is added, we'll go ahead and click new again, and we're going to add a number num another number sequence, and this is going to be a predefined list. And I'll go ahead and call that component key. And now I can add my list of values. ASM for assembly. PRT for part. We'll add DWG to represent drawings. And lastly, DOC to represent a document, maybe like a PDF or something, for example. Once that's done, I can set a default by clicking the Set as Default button. And if I choose to, I can go ahead and use the Move Up and Move Down buttons to reorder these so they appear in the, uh, the list I want. I'll click OK. Hit New will add one more delimiter as a dash and add one more number sequence. And in this case, we'll use an auto-generated sequence. We'll give it a name, sequential suffix, give it a length of two, and then a range. And that will just automatically sequence. We'll hit OK and acknowledge our numbering scheme. Set it to default and make sure it's active and finish out this, this screen. Now, let's switch to Inventor. Once we're in Inventor and logged in, I'll go ahead and just create a new file. And just go save that file. Now when I save that file, I get this screen that lets me choose from my available schemes. Let's me change my free text to any four digit number, which is what I defined. Let's me choose my list. I'll hit OK, and there's the automatic file naming. So as quickly as that, you can have your own custom naming scheme created. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone.